Let's have a look at each of these questions. Okay, so we'll start at the top. Now, interestingly, interestingly, I see there is three fifths plus two thirds. Okay, and then when we have a look at this working here, <coughs> just for starters, who agrees with the final answer? Final answer, hands up straight, hands up straight, straight, so I can really see. Okay, thank you, hands down, the vast majority of you, which is fine. We'll check in a minute whether it's right. The first one. But, but, I think all of us can comment on how we can improve, not just the final answer, but the way we got there. Now, you might re recall, I just want to jog your memory. I talked yesterday, sorry, Tuesday, a lot about the equal sign and what it means. It means if you've got something to the left of an equal sign and something to the right of an equal sign, you're saying they are identical, equal, right? Now, I want you to have a look. Have a look at the very first equal sign that has been written. The very first equal sign that's been written. This one here, right? Are these two things equal? Is it the same to say a fraction plus another fraction is this fraction times another number? Now, I have no problem with multiplying things and all that kind of um, thing in order to make things simpler, but, but, this, this here and this here are two completely different things. Completely different, right? Uh, not only that, I see what's going on. Uh, can someone explain to me, what does this times three, what is the reason why it's there? Not, not what's it doing, but why is it there, Jaren? Because you need a common denominator. Very good, so I can see the thought process. I see what's going on. Oh, I need to multiply this one by three on three and this one by five on five, right? Which does get done separately, <laughs> okay? But is that what this means? Is that, is that how would I write it instead to convey what's going on? True. Should I write in a plus? Say that again. Should I write in a plus because three over five times three plus two over three times five. Yep. So this Answer. this plus sign it disappears and then it reappears. Okay. So I see what's going on in your brain. You're like, okay, I'm going to do this part of the problem first and then I'll do that part of the problem. And there's no, I have no problems with that. That's really good. You're breaking it down into manageable chunks. But you don't want like one of the chunks to just disappear and then suddenly, ta-da, okay? Um, we want it all to be there if you're really saying it's equals, right? Um, there's one more thing I would add. Notice here when they multiply by three, the three on the top has become a nine, cool. This five turned into a 15. How did that happen? Yeah, Maria? Five times three? Yeah, so in fact, I've not only multiplied the numerator by three, I've also multiplied the denominator. So what's really happened is I've multiplied by three on three. Of course you have to, because otherwise you'd be changing the number, right? Three on three is okay, because what is three on three? Three divided by three. three. Three divided by three is just one, so it doesn't change the number. You can multiply something by one as many times as you like, and it's still the same number. Does that make sense? Okay, so having addressed that, that you know we don't want numbers to appear and then, sorry, disappear and then reappear, and also making sure when you change the denominator, you're changing the whole number, so write the whole fraction. I think one on 14, one and four, four fifteenths looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so give that a tick if you got that. All right, let's have a look at this guy over here. So having a look at the, um, the first line of working, can someone describe for me in words, what is this step? We have, we have language to describe what's going on here. What has this person done? This person is me. Okay, so someone else. I want someone else to be able to look at this working and tell me what's happening. Someone? Anyone? Darcy? Simplifying the question. Okay, we're simplifying it. That's very good. In what particular way are we simplifying it? Yeah, I know you know the answer because you wrote it down. See, this is important, right? You might know what you're doing, but if you can't communicate to someone else so they can see what's going on, then it's... We need better than that, okay? Aiden, you have to get um, your first. Well, well uh, so he's basically um, d divided the uh, 16 by 4 and 15 by 5. Yep. So you get the um, 3 over 4 and, sorry, um, so you get 1 over 1 times 3 over 4, which yep. leaves you with 3. Perfect. Okay, excellent. So that division, right, another word we use for this is called cancelling. Because you can see, for instance, just over here, this is 4, right? 
and 16 is 4 times 4. So you know, I've got a 4 on the top and a 4 on the bottom, so I can cancel them, right? And that's exactly what he's done. Cancel, cancel, leaving him with the 4. You see, you see? Does that make sense? It's really important you not just be able to do it, but you can articulate, you can recognize that someone else does it. Okay, now this very last one, okay? I'm not going to look too much at the working just yet. All I'm going to suggest is there's something that clues me into the fact that this okay. can't quite be right. Now, can someone tell me? Can someone articulate? That's not what he meant. What? What he meant was 12 over 36, not 36. Ah, so, so, if what he meant was that, then that should be written here, right? So there's an issue of communication, right? And what was meant versus what is there. Okay, now just pausing for a second. If I, if I see this, how do I know? If I did this working and I got this is my final line, how do I know something's gone wrong? Can someone tell me? How do I know something has gone wrong? What do you reckon, Dyson? Um, even if you get rid of the fractures, you can't times one, that's really six. Okay, that's true. Like, just thinking about this as a simpler thing, that's, that's very fair. Uh, you can think about this as well. This is like a number around one, just estimate, just estimate. A number around one, a number around two, you multiply them. 36 is a huge number. Right? It's a huge number. Okay, so hands down, let me show you how I would do this and then you can tell me where the error has crept in. Okay? First thing I'm going to do is just like here, I'm going to get out of mixed numerals. Okay, so can someone tell me what this is as a mixed numeral? Yeah, it's right. 4 over 3. 4 over 3. And this as a mixed numeral, does someone have it? Yeah, Maria? 9 over 4. 9 over 4. Very good. So you can see now, oh look, just like before, I can cancel. Is a 4 and a 4. Can I cancel here? Yep. Yep. I can, can't I? If I divide this by 3 and this by 3, one. these guys are all 1. <laughs> Does that seem like it's more in the ballpark? Yeah. That seems reasonable? Yeah, yeah, it works out. Okay. So 36 divided by 12 would have got us there, but there were some problems here. Where did the error creep in, by the way? Can someone tell me where the error crept in? Hold on, hold on, pause. Line 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, where did, or 4, 5, which line? Someone, someone actually has a say here. Frank, why don't you? It was your four. Line 4? Line 4? By line 4, something has definitely gone wrong, but it's before that the error actually occurs. Someone knows? Yeah, Aiden. 3. Line three. Why line three? What's because, gone wrong in line three? Because um, it's, what we've done, um, um, he's accidentally uh, did, um, um, he made the denominators um, equal the uh, same. Yep. Play, and, um, and also the, the uh, top, I think. Mm. But, um, and so... And so he got too large of a number, and so that's why he ended up with the wrong answer. Yeah, yeah, very good. So the numbers have all inflated. Interestingly, he's actually not, like from here to here, he's converted. He didn't need to. We converted here because you were adding them together, right? But for multiplication, no conversion is necessary. So this wasn't required, but at least when I'm looking at it now, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's actually as he transitions from line 3 to line 4, okay? 16 times 27, I don't know if, you, if this is actually accurate. I think it is 432. But look. 12 times 12, because you have to do the top and the bottom. 12 times 12 is not 12. What is 12 times 12? It's 144, 144 square numbers. We're pretty good at those. So this should really be 144. And that's why this should be divided by 12. And that's what we give you three. Okay? So it's not just important to be able to get a right answer or see what's going on. You have to be able to, like, I make mistakes all the time. I want to be able to fix my mistakes. That's really important to me. Okay? Not just say, oh, I got it wrong. It's over. Does that make sense? 